In this video, we're going to look at how we can schedule emails in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, what do I mean by schedule? Well, when you create an email, a draft, and you click on send, what that does by default is it sends it right away. Well, let's say you didn't want to send it right away. What you would like to do is schedule it. As an example, I'm a big fan of separating work and play. So I might be working on an email or working or looking at my emails at 9 o'clock at night, but I don't want people to know that I'm available at that time. So if I respond to someone at 9 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night, what I will do is I will schedule that to go out at 9 o'clock in the morning. So then when that person receives it, they're receiving it in the morning. So even though I created it and sent it the night before, it actually doesn't get sent until the following day. This is what scheduling is. Let's see how we do this on the Mac first. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an email. We can reply to an email and schedule it, or we can just create a new email. Let's go and create a new email. So what I do is I click on the little pencil up here. This is where we create new emails in Spark. And then I just fill out the information. And once I fill out the information, who it's going to, what the subject is, as well as what I'm saying, what I do is I go down to the bottom and you're going to see this little paper airplane with a clock. This is what we use to schedule. It's called send later. So when I click on this, what I'm able to do is set when I want it to be sent. Much like snoozing, we have default values here. So by default, later today is at 10.30 p.m. So it might be a couple hours ahead. Of this evening is at 8 p.m while tomorrow is at 9 a.m. And we can change this. We can change what these default behaviors are or default values are. We can even set our own time. Let's say I wanted to schedule this for next week. All I do is just go up to the calendar here and I can click on a date and a time and it'll schedule it at that time. And again, much like snoozing, I do not need to have my emails open for the email to be sent. I can close Spark and it'll still be sent. Once I schedule something, what it'll do is it'll show in a folder here. So let's go ahead and schedule this. And I'm going to send it to myself here. We'll just go test here. And what I do is I click on the paper airplane. I don't click on the send button yet. I need to schedule it first. So I click on it and we're going to go with next week. I set the time. And now we can see it will be sent on August 9 at 8 p.m. Now it's still not scheduled. Now what I need to do is I need to click on schedule. So we set when we want to send it and then we click on schedule. Once we do that, it goes into the outbox here and then it'll stay in that outbox until it is sent, until the time that I scheduled it. Now if you want to change it, you can go in here, click on it, and then you can click on the X here to take the schedule out. You can also click on send now. And if you want to reschedule it, you can click on this and then you can change the schedule. So we are able to change it even after we scheduled it. I'm going to click on the X. We're not going to schedule it. Move it back into my inbox. And now let's see how we do this on the iPad. On the iPad, it basically works the same way. I'm going to tap on the pencil in the lower left hand corner here. This creates a new draft. And I would enter in who it's going to, what the subject is, what my email is, and then you're going to see the little paper airplane here with the clock. I click on it, and from here I can go and schedule it. I can set a date by clicking on pick date, and then if I want to set the default behaviors, instead of going to the settings, I can click on customize, and then I can set what my default numbers are or values are. Let's go over to my iPhone. Basically works the same way. I go to the pencil in the lower right hand corner. And now I would enter in who it's going to, the subject, all that good stuff. I have the paper airplane down here in the lower right hand corner, not quite at the bottom. What I would do is I would tap on that. It's above the keyboard. And from here, I'm able to set when I want it to send. Once it sends it, it does go into, let's go ahead and Tap on or send this to myself. We're going to go with test again. And send later. We're going to go with tomorrow morning. Now I need to tap on the paper airplane. I would do the same thing on the iPad. 
and now that email is scheduled. So if I go over to my Outbox, you're going to see that that email is there. And if I want to change it, what I'm able to do is change the schedule. I can even remove it by tapping on Remove Scheduling, and now it is removed. And that email is back in my inbox or in my draft folder, depending on if I was replying to someone or not. Now, as I mentioned, we can customize what those default behaviors are, much like snoozing. To do that, let's go back over to my Mac. To do that, what we do is we go up to our Preferences. So I go to Spark. We go to Preferences. And then from here, what we do is we go over to Scheduling. With Scheduling, I have my Send Later with what we're scheduling. And here is where I can set what the default behaviors are or the values are. So later today, right now is three hours. Let's just say I wanted to change that to five hours. Tomorrow evening is 6 p.m. So now, if I were to schedule it for tomorrow evening, it would go at 6 p.m. On the iPad and iPhone, what we need to do is go to Spark Settings. On the iPad, we go to the three horizontal lines in the upper left-hand corner, Settings at the very bottom, and then we swipe up until you see Scheduling, Send Later, and you can customize it there. On the iPhone, basically the same thing. Tap on the three lines in the upper left-hand corner. I go to Settings at the very bottom. We swipe up until I find Scheduling. From here, I go to Send Later, and I can go and customize when my default values are, when it's going to send later. So that is how Send Later or how we schedule our emails in Spark. This is another one of my favorite features. So that is how you schedule emails in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, if you like what you saw here, what you may want to do is like the video. Give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube that you like it. And maybe what I can do then is help other people because they'll recommend my video to other people. You can also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about my videos, I do have over 1,600 videos available, easy to follow videos on the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. You can find those on danstutorials.com. In addition to having over 1,600 videos, you can also keep track of which lessons you've taken, you can take notes, you can favorite tutorials. So if you'd like to learn more, take a look at my dancetutorials.com. I hope this video was helpful and helping you learn more about your Apple device.